Now we started out tonight working on the the door frame. Start getting these back doors on. We'll probably, hopefully, get those on this weekend. Um, kind of stopped. It's getting dark uh, yeah, a couple hours earlier. <laughs> it's starting to get dark earlier fast. That's how you know fall is pretty well here. So we're actually uh, it's getting dark before eight o'clock now here. So that means no running the camera, and I do try to get everything on this build, pretty much all of it on camera. So I figure it's not that late yet. I might as well do a little bit on this exhaust hood for the forge, because I can't really forge anything until I have this done. So what this is, this is an exhaust collector off of a boiler. Um, it's actually the same boiler that the uh, the one burner came off of that we're using for our exhaust hood fan. Come on. So what we're trying to do here is we've got to have something sturdy to mount that blower to as far as the hood goes. Now the rest of the blower we're going to attach to the ceiling using uh, Unistrut and threaded rod. And that'll that'll go pretty easy. It usually does. But for now, just want to make sure we get this. Uh, you know, we at least start marking this out. Get a whole cut in it. Maybe I don't think I have any metal blades for the jigsaw, so might be doing this with a grinder or picking up blades. But I can at least get it marked out. We have to mount. So we have to get this thing mounted. This is where the air is going to get sucked in the smoke from the forge and it's going to pop out up there. So we're going to need a seven inch pipe going out the wall to accommodate this. But for right now what I need to do is get this piece off, get it attached to here, and then we can, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Then we can work on getting this ready to go up. This guy here can actually come off of here. We're not going to need this. You know what? I'm going to quit being a lazy shit and grab a wrench. Grab the right thing. Now, this is a lot better than the uh, a lot better than the old videos we used to do out of the pit of despair off of that workbench. will obviously save this stuff because I'm sure it'll come in handy for something, right? Alright. I have a shelf to fill up under here. So, Thing we have a spare motor for this thing. So 
Now this squirrel cage, this ought to move quite a bit. Should be all right with this, but let's see what we get here. Okay, let's see if this is going to fit right. Should be pretty darn good, I would say, but let's test it out. We don't hit the co oh, we're gonna hit the coffee cup. That's no good. Yep, this guy right here, that lip. The lip is very much in the way. See how this fits on there, and then I think we'll call it a night. Basically, I want to make it so I can hang this, this piece up all at once. So I'm going to block you guys a little bit.
All right, well, there you go, guys. It's just a little bit of everything tonight. We started framing out our door for the back end. Like I said, we ran out of daylight, so decided we just maybe putz around on this a little bit. Got to get the most out of the day, you know what I mean? That uh, I hate giving up on the day. That's why I'm always up all hours of the night. That's why I see videos on work nights coming out at 1, 2 in the morning. That's because well, that's just the way I am. But we'll do that until we fall over. So basically what we have left to do on this, we've got to cut the hole so we can get that return air out of there. So the exhaust air can get into the fan itself. We're going to blank off this end and we're going to extend them out so this hood's going to be a lot wider uh, by the time we're said and done. So I'm going to get it probably a few feet off of the top of the forge. Uh, I need it high enough so I can work, but I need it low enough so I don't have a bunch of flue gases escaping and filling up the space. Especially once we get the bats on these seams, it's going to seal it up a lot more in here. And uh, so I really don't want that exhaust building up in here. Coal smoke, any kind of exhaust is just plain no good for you. And uh, some things, you know, can really does damage that you may not see for years. And it's not just lung issues. Sometimes you can get neurological issues depending on what is in the exhaust. If you have stuff like galvanized, things like that, gal galvanic poisoning is, is deadly. It's, it's really bad. Uh, I've only known of, um, I know of one person who had it and it put them in a coma for a while and he actually survived and is he's doing all right today but it was one of those close things he was welding up in a spot high up in a ceiling on a lift welding galvanized metal with no <laughs> no exhaust no fresh air just about as dumb as it gets really to be quite honest with you so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one this video about everything video about nothing whatever you want to call it i guess it's the seinfeld video of this channel so have a good night, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.